In this video, we're going to solve a system of equations with three variables where something odd could happen along the way. We have 5x minus 4y plus 3z equals negative 4, negative 10x plus 8y minus 6z equals 8, and 15x minus 12y plus 9z equals negative 12. If we label these equations as 1, 2, and 3 to help keep organized, and then pick on a variable to eliminate, might notice it could be easy to get opposites in front of the x's using 1 and 2 by multiplying by 2, and then 1 and 3 by multiplying by 3. So let's eliminate the x twice, first using equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 is 5x minus 4y plus 3z equals negative 4, and equation 2, negative 10x plus 8y minus 6z equals 8. To get the opposites that we want in front of x, we're going to multiply the first equation by 2, so that equation becomes 10x minus 8y plus 6z equals negative 8. The first equation is still 10x plus 8y minus 6z equals 8, but as we try and add these together, you might notice what's happening is that... Oops, I lost my negative on the 10x, sorry. What you might notice is happening is that the x's eliminate, the y's eliminate, and the z's eliminate, leaving nothing or 0 on the left side. Similarly, the 8's eliminate, leaving 0 on the right side. But because we have a true equation, if everything eliminates, we've seen the true equation before, this means if something works in the first equation, it will also work in the other equations. And so we will say that there are infinite solutions to this problem. Let's take a look at another problem where something funny might happen as well. In this problem, if we label equation 1, 3x minus 4y plus z equals 2, equation 2 is the negative 9x plus 12y minus 3z equals negative 5, and equation 3 is 4x minus 2y minus z equals 3. If we wanted to get opposites in front of... Well, I notice we've already got opposites in front of the z, plus z and negative z. So that might be a good place to start. So using equation 1 and equation 3, we have 3x minus 4y plus z equals 2, and 4x minus 2y minus z equals 3. And when we add them together, the z's eliminate, giving us 7x minus 6y equals 5. And we have our equation A by eliminating z. To eliminate z a second time, I might use equations 1 and 2, because we already have the opposite sign. Equation 1 is 3x minus 4y plus z equals 2. Equation 2, negative 9x plus 12y minus 3z equals negative 5. And to get opposites in front of z, we need to multiply the first equation by 3. This gives us 9x minus 12y plus 3z equals 6. Second equation, negative 9x plus 12y minus 3z equals negative 5. And again, you notice, as we try and add these equations together, the x's subtract out, the y's subtract out, and the z's subtract out, leaving just 0 on the left side. However, on the right side, 6 minus 5 is 1. We get a false equation. We've seen this false equation before. We know as soon as we see a false equation, it means if something works in one equation, it will not work in the other equation. This system must have no solution. So on very rare occasion, if we end up with all the variables subtracting out, if we get a true equation, we say there are infinite solutions. If we get a false equation, we say there are no solutions, and we're done with our problem.